Right, here we are back again, the second stage in adding colour to this. Um, and I should have said at the start, see, this is what I love. Just drop some neat pigment in it. And these, these accidents here, uh, I just love the way this happens. I'm, I want to try and preserve all these. Um, and I should have said at the start that my approach to, to adding colour to a sketch is not to... It, I kind of take the colours that are present in there as a as a starting point. Um, but unless I'm doing a commission where accuracy of colour is 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 it's kind of fairly important to the to the commissioner, um, I tend not to try and replicate the colours in there. Broadly speaking, um, I'll, I'll I'll do it, um, but I'm not trying to mix the exact green or the exact shade of of brown for for the for this shed anyway having said that um my my kind of thing is to leave certain things unpainted and i already decided right at the very start that i was going to leave this this wall just with line work and some shadow color on um and focus on that by the same token if i left this barn with um with no color on or no paint on and in the same as this, your eyes kind of well, um, is it? It'll jump between that and that, um, and the stuff in the background. I'm not putting much colour on, just sketchy lines, and I, I put some green on just to make sense of the shapes. Um, so I think again, in this instance, it's going to be the wall uh, that's going to be the featured thing left as a line drawing. Um, so what I'm going to do, even though most of this will be obliterated by the by the the shadow color that i put on this is a mix of well it's a bit of um yellow ochre and and raw sienna i just want it to get kind of a woody a woody shade on there um carry it on down the sides um i love this stage in a drawing when when you're adding colors and starting to make some sense of the um of the line work so let's see if i can see the shadow is going to go over this um but because the shadow color will be largely transparent i want to put some interest underneath um i'm going to make the, the barn door a bit darker there bit more of a um that was just a bit of a shadow color with Payne's gray and and some cobalt blue and a bit a bit of red in there um and what i'm going to do the, the band the roof of the band look, looks to me to be it's kind of a ready rusty um i'm not even sure if it's not metal so it'd be rusty. So I'm going to put um, kind of a rusty-ish, well, my version of a rusty red, um, which is made from some, there you go, a bit of orange, and it was some scarlet red. Um, but to be fair, the base of the mix pop this on there the base of the mix is some i was working on um, a commission the other day that needed some um some brickwork sorry let me let me move this across so you can see how my margin um color notes is going on there you go um yeah and it needed a brick a, some brick colour you know like uh, terracotta bricks so I use that as the the basis for that that roof there you see and already I think adding the colour is all it, it, it's given some interest there but it's also thrown your eye back to this lovely strong wall I am tempted to put some greenery here um, because there is some grass 
and some boulders covered with moss with some colour there. I'm on this, the jury's still out on that um, because I, I, I quite the, I like the composition, the way it kind of cuts off there. Um, so again, I think I probably mentioned the fact that I'm trying to keep these videos to less than 10, 12 minutes um, due to the just the problems of, of uploading and, and file handling, um, moving them out between various devices. Um, so I'm going to keep these into that 10, 12 minute sections. And I can already see I need this to be completely dry before I put the 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 last bit on, which is the um, which is going to be the shadows, which will bring it in. So this video might may well be in three sections because having come so far. Um, and we've got this vast technical crew behind the scenes that I'm paying. Um, quite large sums of money to to do all the behind the scenes work um so i don't want to have to pay that twice that last bit was a joke by the way the vast behind the scenes crew is me and um generally billy my springer spaniel so i'm just literally going to add some colour around this tree and this is again the thing about um, about adding colour and focus for me you know the, the composition I'm just putting some undersea green on these because the light's coming from that direction um, so I just thought I'd drop some while it's wet working on a watercolour painting where you it, it really is like juggling paints you you know you've got to keep your eye on on various sections of the of the of the drawing or the sketch i'm using a kind of a dry brush technique here to give the impression i just want kind of the impression of of green foliage again if i went in and put lots of detailed stuff which i can't do because i'm not a botanical artist um it would again draw your eye and i'm just now trying to because the, the back of this tree would be this this i'm putting in now is very nearly neat pigment on the top of the wet wash I'm just striving to to get some interest in there. Again, I'm not a um, certainly not a a botanical artist by any means. Let's put my green in there. Um, but that this this dark through there, you see, will be kind of dark. <laughs> Again, I don't want to put too much in because let me just put a line of dark green along there because I've just noticed there's kind of a, a stand of trees. Bring them in behind these buildings. There you go. I think that'll do. And there's, there's the margin colour. Excuse me. Oh, I felt a sneeze coming on there, um, but I was able to, to stop it. So I'm going to leave that there for the minute just to let all of this dry completely um, and we'll see you in part three.